Most of us know there has been a lot going on recently with Trias, from new exchange listings to the upcoming launch of the Tusima Network's new zero-knowledge bridge testnet. New technologies are emerging each day, and blockchain technology is leading the charge. One such project that has caught everyone's attention is the Trias Network. This innovative project brings together three distinct blockchains, Tusima, Ethanim, and Triathon, to create a platform that revolutionizes industries across the globe. In this video, we will delve into all aspects of the Trias network, from its components to its real-world utility and applications. We will also explore Trias tokenomics and price history, partnerships, upgrades, and new exchange listings. You'll get an insight into Trias future predictions and how it compares to QNT, also known as Quant Network Token, in terms of tokenomics and price perspective. I'm well aware that many of you just want to hear about Trias price predictions. We will discuss them. But before we talk prices, let's first do a brief overview of the Trias network and the value it offers. I promise, after utility, we'll talk price and money. And I mean big money. You're not going to want to miss the astronomically high numbers we discuss. Combining reliable, intelligent, autonomous systems with blockchain, Trias Network provides a secure infrastructure for decentralized apps. Utilizing cryptography and ZK rollup tech, it ensures data privacy and efficiency. With partnerships in key crypto exchanges, Tria strengthens its market presence. Tria leverages a heterogeneous consensus graph, a graph computing algorithm on the lines of a hash graph, which can function as an underlying layer to existing Layer 1 blockchain networks such as Ethereum and Hyperledger. Ruin Anbang is the founder and CEO of Trias. He received a PhD in Oxford MSc in Peking University. As a former research associate in Trusted Cloud from the Oxford eResearch Center, he has 10 years of research experience in system security. He also served as the reviewer in Trusted Cloud for the Journal of ACM. He also led several European research projects. They were funded by the EPSRC, FP7, and the Innovate UK, while unveiling Tusima Network and its operations. Introducing Tusima Network, a public chain system developed by Trias that offers a secure environment for decentralized applications. Leveraging the Ethereum virtual machine, developers can build various applications, including financial services and decentralized exchanges. Its compatibility with existing Ethereum-based projects has made it popular. Tusima is a Layer 2 controllable privacy financial network based on ZK Rollup. It integrates zero-knowledge proof, recursive proof, and homomorphic encryption technologies. This helps achieve controllable on-chain data privacy protection and builds a scalable financial network, featuring high transactions per second for Web3 users. One of the most vital features of the project is how it can function as an underlying layer to improve the trust and security of existing Layer 1 blockchain networks such as Ethereum and Hyperledger, which are popular platforms for developing enterprise dApps. Ethanum Network, a component of the Trias ecosystem, offers secure blockchain solutions for businesses, integrating existing systems for industries like supply chain and finance. Robust and flexible, it's ideal for enterprise-level implementations. Let's explore Trias's key components now, shall we? Trias's key components are Leviatom, Prometh, and Magcarta. Let's analyze their functionalities, security contributions, and unique capabilities supporting decentralized applications. Explore how they work together to create a robust blockchain infrastructure. Directly quoting from the Trias.1 website, on Leviatom Network, a node can choose to act in one or many in three roles. Verifiers, who continuously and repeatedly examine the trustworthiness of the surrounding nodes by initiating TEE-oriented verifications to them. They also carry the duty of node discovery. These repeated verifications constitute the basic heartbeat of Leviatom and should be encouraged and rewarded. Leviatom thus implements the verification as mining mechanisms so that the frequent verification computing power contributors will be allocated tokens periodically. Routers collect the verification data from the verifiers and disseminate it to other peers. Routers utilize the gossip algorithms to construct the web of trust and help determining the conspiracy breaching model for each node. 
Routers also help to identify the Leviatim nodes who have specified properties, such trust value, software properties, DAT possessions, etc. Routers form the backbone of Leviatim network. They should also get rewarded with routing as mining. Executors execute the Prometh applications as scheduled by the Mag Carta contract. The Mag Carta's consensus call specifies how the executors will get rewarded, as long as its returned values satisfy the consensus strategy. Since its execution rights are obtained by contributions in compute power, storages, or bandwidths from verifiers and routers, executors will have to reward these contributions with part of its earned tokens. These mechanisms are called execution as gas and verification as gas. Prometh applications also need the participation of the community for verifying the genuine behaviors of smart contracts or native general purpose applications. This is achieved by implementing Prometh's components as Mag Carta contracts, which ultimately specify the rewards for the selected Leviatom nodes as long as the Prometh applications provide. Therefore, in the early stage of Prometh system, it is necessary to use the mining mechanism to motivate volunteers. Specifically, developers or security analysts can get mined tokens when performing the Prometh's program testings and automated analysis of verifications for software source codes or intermediate binary files. Hold up. Huh? You didn't quite get that one either, did you? I'm not even going to pretend I fully understood the complex blockchain jargon I just read. But no worries. I'll give you a much easier analogy to explain it. Okay, so imagine you and your friends are playing a big game. In this game, some people are like helpers, called executors, who do special tasks like passing out candies according to the rules of a magical book, called Mag Carta. This book also tells how to give rewards, like stickers, to these helpers. But the helpers don't do everything alone. They get help from other people called verifiers and routers, who lend them toys or help them in other ways. The helpers share their stickers with these people as a thank you. Everyone also makes sure the game is played fairly by checking the rules and the tasks. They can get special mind stickers for doing this. This is important when the game is new, so that lots of people want to join and help make it better. Do you understand it now? Great. On the other hand, Prometh can't guarantee complex native applications to have zero vulnerabilities. Its strong audit and trusted traceability system facilitate potential vulnerabilities be discovered and counteracted within a limited time. With this case, the executors in example, Leviatom's third-layer computing power nodes, can convert partial rewards into insurance and deposit it into the insurance contracts. Insurance contracts can reward security analysis programs that find program vulnerabilities in Prometh ecosystem. The insurance also compensates Leviatom nodes that incur losses due to running potentially vulnerable Prometh programs. Therefore, the insurance model can target data or computing power providers. They can choose to convert partial rewards into insurance to compensate for the undiscovered security risks of local data or computing platforms. Tokens of insurance contracts can be used as rewards for finding vulnerabilities, thus building a virtuous circle of cybersecurity ecosystem. It's obvious how Trias, Tusima, Ethanim, and Triathon can benefit industries with practical applications, reshaping the future of different sectors. There's no doubt that the disruptive force of Trias's ecosystem across industries can drive efficiency, empower organizations, and transform businesses for the digital age. I'm also excited to mention the multi intelli scanner that Triathon recently launched within the Trias ecosystem. multi intelli scanner leverages AI technology to automatically learn the behavior patterns of smart contracts and generate targeted test cases. According to the website, multi intelli scanner can automatically analyze the code logic of contracts and intelligently generate test cases that have both high coverage and diversity. Multi Intelli Scanner can simulate a variety of input and interaction scenarios, enabling it to detect 98% of vulnerabilities listed in the existing vulnerability database. By combining AI vulnerability scanners with fuzz testing, the accuracy of detection can be significantly enhanced. I know you might be thinking now, what in the world is fuzz testing? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but no, 
It doesn't involve testing to see if your fuzzy teddy bear can drink milk while you eat all the cookies. On the contrary, fuzzing actually involves inputting massive amounts of random data, called fuzz, to the test subject in an attempt to make it crash. If a security vulnerability is found, a software tool called a fuzzer is used to identify potential causes. And then finally, you can eat some cookies. The TRIAS token is essential in the TRIAS network ecosystem. With its limited supply, it has huge potential for value appreciation. Its volatile price history was influenced by market sentiment and project developments. Holders can participate in governance and earn rewards. Growing adoption and partnerships can drive future price. Higher on-chain activity increases the burn rate and makes the TRIAS token more valuable. Factors such as project developments, market demand, and overall cryptocurrency market conditions can influence the future price of the TRIAS token. Thorough analysis of TRIAS Network's fundamentals and market trends can provide insights into its potential to exceed its previous peak. However, price predictions should be approached with caution. Currently, the price of TRIAS is $2.78. It already had an all-time high price of $31.97. Hear me out. I'm not sure if you all realize this, but think about it. Trias has a max supply of only 10 million coins. Now, 10 million coins is significantly less than the 14.8 million coins that Quant has, based on its scarcity combined with demand and utility. In my own opinion, we can easily see Trias rocket up past $100 to $500 during the next bull run. There are some people who speculate that Trias will surpass $1,000 during this next bull market. While anything's possible during a bull run, I'm not too sure about $1,000 for Trias yet, but I do hope the ultra-bullish speculators are correct. Even the mighty Quant Network token, QNT, didn't go higher than $450 during the last bull run. Again, in my own opinion, which is not financial advice, I do believe QNT, the Quant Network token, will far surpass $1,000 by far during the next run-up. A $100 to $500 trias is simply just a matter of time. In my point of view, holding a certain amount of trias can be extremely profitable in the future. For example, if a person holds 2,000 trias and trias goes to $500, that person then has $1 million worth of trias. Now, if trias does indeed reach some speculators' predictions of $1,000 per coin, all a person would need to hold is 1,000 trias tokens and they would have $1 million worth of trias. Also, if trias goes to five digits in price while a person holds 1,000 tokens, congratulations to that person, as they then became a multimillionaire. Currently at $2.78, it seems quite affordable and overlooked, just like most people overlooked quant when it was in the $2 range. Yep, that's right. I'm talking about you, some of you who are watching this video as I speak. You know who you are. You saw the Quant Network token back years ago at 80 cents, then $1.50, $2, $3, and did absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, some of you even laughed at it when it was $2 while saying there is no investment better than XRP, as if only one token would be successful. When in fact, the Quant Network and the XRP ledger have significantly different use cases and target markets. And lastly, there are the few of you who actually saw Quant at 19 cents and didn't even take advantage. I have no words for you. For the regret you feel, no words can express. All jokes aside, I believe that in this crypto market, anything is possible, especially with quality projects that have such low market caps as it's still early. Some of you may be thinking now, what partnerships does Trias have? Well, Trias has formed strategic partnerships with industry-leading companies like Ontology, Bluezell, and Nervos Network. These collaborations help Trias expand its network and increase its influence in the blockchain industry. As Trias continues to grow and develop, we can expect even more exciting partnerships in the future. Trias Network consistently upgrades its infrastructure, enhancing security, scalability, and usability. It has secured listings on top crypto exchanges, boosting accessibility and liquidity. Keep an eye on the upgrade roadmap and new exchange listings for valuable insights. Trias Network's collaboration with Japan and acquiring the Japanese CBDC license demonstrates its credibility and recognition in the blockchain industry.
This partnership highlights Trias's dedication to secure and regulated digital currency solutions, strengthening its position in the Japanese market. Additionally, it paves the way for potential collaborations with other countries and organizations, fostering mainstream adoption of Trias technology. Trias and Quant Network, two prominent blockchain projects, have some similarities and some differences in tokenomics, scalability, and value propositions. Researching their potentials will help investors make informed decisions aligned with their goals and risk tolerance. Quant is a completely different technology than Trias. However, it's similar in token metrics, as it is also quite scarce, having 14.8 million tokens in its total maximum supply, which is also lower than Bitcoin's supply. Trias has even less tokens than Quant. Trias has a token supply of 10 million tokens. Sometime in October 2023, all 10 million Trias tokens will be released into circulation. Currently, Trias has a circulating supply of almost 9.9 .9 million Trias tokens. Be sure to stay updated on the progress of token distribution and understand its implications for the Trias ecosystem. So, what makes Trias stand out in the crypto market? Why choose Trias? Trias sets itself apart in the crypto market through its integration of intelligent autonomous systems and blockchain technology, prioritizing security, scalability, and privacy. The project's partnerships with exchanges and regulatory institutions enhance its credibility, while the team's expertise drives innovation. Evaluating its unique features reveals Trias's potential growth. Trias holders will have the ability to stake Trias in the near future and earn passive income while securing the network. Make sure to look out for the exciting upcoming staking feature for Treas token holders, generating passive income while contributing to network security. Explore the requirements, benefits, and potential rewards of staking Treas tokens. Stay informed by going to their website at trias.one. Also follow Treas on Twitter at Treas Lab. What exchanges list Treas? Here are some platforms that support the trading of Trias tokens, providing liquidity for the token with more to come. Trias is already listed on KuCoin. Trias was just listed recently within the past few weeks on the following exchanges, MEXC, Gate.io, CoinSpot, and BitMart. It's going to be listed on more exchanges soon. There is some concern regarding Trias potentially being delisted from KuCoin due to issues with communication of between KuCoin and Trias. KuCoin claims that Trias did not provide them with updates on listed entities, in other words, the names of other exchanges that Trias is listed on, as well as changes in development and team members. Trias released a statement claiming that KuCoin is implementing restrictions in compliance with legal obligations in North America and other regions, impacting Trias due to some of its user base in North America. Trias has not been delisted from KuCoin, but it's still a possibility. Trias also stated that they are determined to boost liquidity on other exchanges that they work with. I really hope KuCoin works things out with Trias soon and creates more efficient communication in order to avoid issues. I think KuCoin is a fantastic exchange and Trias is an amazing and promising project. I'm not sure what the issue is behind the scenes, but they need to work things out soon. It will be interesting to see Trias get listed on another large exchanges like Binance and Coinbase next. But for now, if you already have Trias, know what you hold, don't give in to the fear, doubt, and uncertainty, and don't make decisions based on emotions. Think about the value this project will bring into the world. For the people who don't have Trias yet, this is not financial advice. Remember that Trias is available for trade on some pretty awesome exchanges like BitMart, I heard BitMart is a good exchange. BitMart seems to have been around for a while. Another exchange it's trading on that's worth taking a look at is Gate.io. The next exchange see it's trading on is CoinSpot. Another quality exchange it's on is called MEXC. I'm starting to hear good things about MEXC. Definitely one to take a look at. Before joining any exchange or investing, do your own research and consult with a professional. So. What are the future predictions for Trias? Predicting the future trajectory of Trias involves considering market conditions, project developments, and technological advancements. With a focus on security, scalability, and enterprise solutions, 
Trias is well positioned for growth. As blockchain adoption increases, demand for Trias's infrastructure and services may surge. Stay informed about partnerships, technology advancements, and market trends to make well informed predictions. Consider further exploring Trias Network's utilities and future potential by doing more research. The Trias Network is poised to disrupt multiple industries with its innovative technologies and real world utility. With the unveiling of Tusima Network and Ethanum Network, Trias is expanding its operations and applications. The components Leviatum, Prometh, and Magcarta are driving this revolution forward. The Trias token has shown promising growth, and there is speculation of it surpassing its previous $30 peak. However, as mentioned earlier, there are also predictions of Trias reaching between $500 and $1,000. Trias's partnerships, upgrades, and new exchange listings further solidify its position in the market. As all 10 million Trias tokens will be in circulation by mid-October 2023, and soon holders will have the opportunity to stake Trias and earn passive income while securing the network. What do you all think? What are your predictions? I'd like to know what my audience thinks. And yes, that means you. I'd like you to comment below. Let me know what your price predictions are. Do you think Trias will reach $500 or $1,000? Remember, none of what I state in this video or on my channel is investment advice. You must do your own research and consult with a professional financial advisor before making investment decisions. I am not liable for any losses, but what I will say is that the future looks bright for Trias as it continues to make waves in the crypto world. Stay tuned for more exciting developments and predictions. Was this video informative for you? Please support my channel by subscribing and liking this video. Doing so will help the algorithm which helps me be able to keep bringing you important crypto info and news. I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.